It sure is bread and circus time. It is so clear that we are living today the equivalent of ancient Rome. Football is the chariot race. It's the gladiators who fought to their death. The Roman Empire was a society that revolved around war. Compassion was obliterated. Compassion was seen as a vice. The ruling emperors, they herded herded the masses into arenas to watch men slaughter themselves as a way of keeping them distracted, allowing the emperors to do as they so wished. The emperors were killing people with their armies, but the masses could care less because they had their entertainment, their chariot races, their gladiators. What's the difference today? Perhaps the only difference is that the gladiators get to wear protective gear. So we call it civilized. I'm going to take off my shirt in the middle of winter and go, yeah, my team won the Super Bowl, yeah. In Philadelphia last night, they didn't even wait for their Super Bowl team to come home. Fires, mayhem, insane trust, falls and filling after Super Bowl win. And when you see how many people got out of their chairs into the streets to express their joy over their football team winning, uh, you will see that football, outside of paying people to get out of their chairs and into the streets like companies do. You know, they pay protesters to show up at protests. They don't care about the actual issue that is being protested. They care about the money that they're getting from the company to show up at that protest. Outside of that, there's nothing that can get Americans out of their chair. Like football or maybe baseball. But football, Super Bowl, whoa! The civilized bread and circus? Is it civilized? You know, we get to judge societies looking back, looking back at them. So, we judge the masses who lived ancient Rome we judge them as being uncivilized because they were herded into arenas to watch men slaughter themselves. What do you think people are going to say about what we are living today? Because what we are seeing is so, it's kind of like uncivilized on steroids. They might come up with a whole new word to describe what we're living. Football. This is what happened in Philly last night. The portion of the headline, Insane Trust, refers to this man who climbed up on the Ritz-Carlton awning and fell thinking that his fellow Americans, they were going to catch him. Boom. Well, I guess that guy didn't realize. He wasn't aware that trust has been obliterated in our country. What do you make of what do you make of people who, because their team won the Super Bowl, they get out on the streets to climb up on the Ritz-Carlton awning with a whole lot of people, and they don't realize that mm, an awning might not hold the weight of, what, is 25, 30 people? What do you make of people who 
have to climb a street light because they're just so excited of their team winning. Yeah. Yeah. Eagles won. And what do you make of people who are so uh, controllable, the, the controllable zombies who, who let loose their own violence over a football team winning that they have to break windows of a department store? I don't understand this mentality. Look at the masses who got out of their chairs, got into the streets to demonstrate a genuine care, and they don't seem too concerned about the fact that, well, their, their empire has taken manifest destiny and expanded it all over the world and using their proxy armies and their actual official armies to kill and slaughter innocent people. They don't seem to care about their own freedom, their own privacy, their own health. They don't seem concerned that their food supply has been taken over by genetically modified organisms that are uh, toxic. Their air, their water, their food has become toxic. They don't even seem to be aware that they are being sprayed with toxic chemicals and heavy metals that are killing them. They don't care about any of that, but they care about football. Keep them happy with entertainment and toxic food. And that's it. I'm, I'm sorry for all of you who get upset that, you know, I have said that the our fellow Americans are the problem. The emperors, emperors will do whatever they want to do. It is the masses that they control, that they manipulate. That's where the problem lies. If you cannot get, and I'm not saying don't enjoy football. That is not what I'm saying. But there's got to be a balance. You, that care for football, if you could take that and care about things that really matter, then we might get somewhere. But when you only care about the entertainment that you so clearly need, when you only care about football and your team, you're so easily distracted. That's when the empire goes down and we are going down. We are going down fast.